gold threads. Still cleaning up all that wood that Bucket took down for me while he was here, cutting firewood. I want to see if I can move this out a little bit. Now instead of looping my, my tie down here or my toe strap, instead of looping it all the way around itself and back through, I'm going to use this, uh, this is like an eight, 10,000 pound, uh, eight, 10,000 pound uh, tie down. Okay, and I'll just loop this around. There we go. Okay, and then we'll put the other end up to the wood weasel. Just want to see if I can pull this out and maybe that way a little bit. Just uh, to give us a little more space for limbing. It's getting kind of tight in here. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> to the inch, enough strap. That's funny. I actually have a winch for this truck, friends, but this is a small winch. Uh, I have it, I gotta build the mount for it. So that it'd be nice to have some more cable and we can winch uh, trees out of here. There we go. Oh. See if we can get this moved out of the way. Well, that worked all right. Maybe we can pull some of these other ones out after too, this, in this corner. Okay, let's get this limbed and bucked with the, uh, let's pull out the ported 266. Okay. Ported 266, 272 top end. I'm just about ready to mail this saw. Um, it's been nothing but reliable. Looking from a tune and screwdriver. There we go. This saw has been nothing but reliable. I've had no issues with it. It's just a good saw. So I'm happy with it. Now I'm gonna build the second one for Hogan, and then father and son will both have the same saw. Okay, uh, this is that chain I used in the C83 cutoff, hand filed. Um, again, friends, work on your filing and you'll get there. It can be frustrating, but you'll get there. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this thing fired up and get that log bucked up. Let's see if, I want to get all these logs out of here today because it's supposed to rain for four or five days now or something, so. Okay. <laughs>
friends how's it going I'm sitting here on the deck what's going on a little snow on the sides of the roof I need a haircut friends ah well it's red green said if they don't find you handsome they must well find you handy right so how you guys doing thanks for hanging out here I just want to say I feel so much better running this saw you guys remember I built this saw once mailed it to Bucket. I got a little cocky I'm like oh yeah Bucket. I built 266s I'll build you a heck of a 266 Right when I first met him, friends. So he mailed me one. <laughs> He's that kind of feller, right? <laughs> so I build him the saw with all these exotic parts, you know, feeling pretty smitten. Send him the saw. He didn't like it, friends. It just, it didn't, it didn't work out. It had no pull. Uh, ran it against the iron horse saw. Well, I've run the iron horse saw now, and it was way better than the one I built. So I kept saying, I'm like, Bucket, can you send me that saw back? It's like, Bucket, I can't live in a world where I sent you this saw that's just horrible. Like, how can we be friends? So <laughs> he mailed it back. Rings didn't seat. Cylinder looks like it's out around. It happens. Um, that saw used to go randomly lean. It was hard to start. It didn't idle properly. Then it would have no pull. It was just a horrible saw. Bucket put a lot of time into that saw. So... This time, friends, I'm putting a lot of time into breaking in his saw. It's way better than the last one. Anyhow, I feel better now. I'm so glad I got to redo this saw. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh. 
friends. I'm going to say 100% that this saw for me is perfect. It's fast and soft wood. It's got grunt and hardwood. It starts at idles. It's not too hard on fuel. It doesn't vibrate. It's not too heavy. It doesn't run too hot. So I got my compression right where I want it. It's just a good build. Now, building it once is one thing, but friends, I'm going to build this saw again on the channel, this time for Hogan, Buck and Son, and I'm going to run a stock carbon intake setup. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and I'm loving shooting these videos for you. Okay, birds. Well, I pretty much showed you the entire breaking process. With the saw, sorry, I'm out of breath. Uh, I'm out of shape, friends. Being at home has not been good for this fella. <laughs> Whew, we'll get her back. It's also 31 degrees and high humidity, so. There you guys go, that is my total break-in procedure. You guys see it. I have about four tanks on this saw now and it is absolutely perfect. It's got good crack, good pull. It restarts at idles. I mean, the oil's good. Here you go, ready? Oh. <laughs> it's really hot out, friends. I bet you she wants fast style already. No, does she want some choke? <laughs> what are the chances I shut this? Friends, we're out of gas. <laughs> Oh, okay, well. There you go, ported 266, 272 top end. It's a good one, best one I've ever built, I'd say. Uh, I'm gonna build one of these for myself. It's just a good, lightweight package, it's fast, and for this kind of work, I can't think of a better saw. Anyhow, friends, thanks for watching, take her easy, later. <laughs>